What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we are gonna be digging into the soil, sort of. I'm gonna be showing you some pictures of some recent excavation that went on. I wanna show you some things that are happening with some roots. I wanna show you some of the benefits of how these humix have been breaking things down. Uh, I also wanna show you some of the side benefits that maybe you don't necessarily know about that are happening on your lawns for all of you people who've been applying these bio stems and things for the last few years. This is gonna be pretty exciting for you. Let's jump in. So let's start with some of the fun facts that really start to show their face at the end of the year, especially as grass is starting to go dormant. Check out my lawn right now. It is cold, things are shutting down. Obviously from the mountains behind, you can see that the leaves are almost gone. Fall is in full swing. Uh, we're about to have our first snowfall, but yet my grass is crazy green. It's crazy thick, it is still growing, it is still healthy, it is still doing what it's supposed to do. Well, maybe you think that's just the way that it is around here. I got news for you. That's not the case. Check this out. This is common right now. So as you can see, everything's pretty much going dormant. Why is my grass hanging on? Why is it still dark green? Why is it still there? Why does it look like this? Is it because purely nutrient load? Probably not. All of these lawns out here and around are well taken care of, so I think that they're getting proper nutrition. So what could possibly be different or what could be missing? Well, the one thing I've always talked about is roots, roots, roots. Driving down those roots, getting them deeper. That's going to help with drought resistance. It's going to help uh, with fertility and, and how much is actually being used and uptaken by the plant. Um, it's going to help with basically shielding the plant from these heavy frosts and uh, these sw huge swings in temperature and just gives the plant an overall better insulated area because of how deep roots are driving. But how do you measure that and what's the best way to look at it? Well, for most of us, we're not gonna dig down and see. It'll be the occasional time where you're replacing something or you have to get into the ground for some reason where you're like, holy crap, these things have really driven down here. For me, since I run these sort of lower nutritional programs and I do focus more on that side of things, driving roots down, driving roots down and kind of working my own uh, program as it were to, to build that up, I get the benefit of having green grass very, very, very late in the season by comparison to anybody else. It's not that I'm watering more, it's not that I'm doing anything other different than treating the soil with a bit more respect in my lawn care program. Now for some out there, that doesn't really matter, and that's okay, it doesn't have to matter to everybody. This is something that I like, this is something that I'm passionate about, this is something that I came to the realization of in all of our agricultural studies 15 years ago, seeing what was happening with root mass, having these drawings of these massive fountains of roots in our, in our corn and our beans and how much that was affecting the overall yield and how that translated over to turf. And overall, the big part of it is cruising through these times of stress. That is the biggest piece. And so here we are, all these lawns are going dormant. Mine is not. Maybe there's a few more out there in the same area that I could find that are dark green, but I haven't found them yet. And the biggest difference that I know between myself and so many others out there is what I do with these biostimulants, with the humix and the fulvic and the kelp and all the goodies that I'm putting down on my lawn on a regular basis. I wanna tell you a little bit of a story and I'm gonna show you some images. And as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So many of you by now know the story of Air Aid and, and how that kind of came to be and how it was sort of inspired by what we were doing in our reactor tanks uh, as we were making and creating our, our acids from the Leonardite Shale. And the whole idea there was that we could kind of create the same interaction down into the soil and then it would provide an opportunity for the roots to drive down deeper and the soil to loosen up. In 2013, we bought our plant down in Georgia and that was a big move for us coming out of Nebraska prior to that and started you know, really major production. And in the beginning, we were starting to use some of the humix out on the field. And then we would actually come out there and put some of our slurries down and things like that. We stopped doing that a number of years ago and have just sort of let the field be what it is. And we saw a lot of very interesting things that we can get into at a later date. But 
This is what came up very recently and it's worth a look. We are currently expanding the plant again and in doing that we are adding much more loading dock space, changing the way that the semis are going to be coming in. And in that we had to excavate back into our hillside. And now this is pretty compacted soil. It's, you know, meant to be more of an area where you would put another foundation for a building. So it's it's very very tight and there is nothing really good about it. Well, as we went through and started cutting away everything, stuff started to show up. So what I want you to do is I want you to really take a look at these pictures and feel free to pause this at any time so that you can kind of drill in and see what's going on here. But basically this, there is a layer of black that runs across at about a two or three inch depth um, that sort of worked its way and integrated down into the soil itself. Then further, you start to see pockets and streams and areas where there's more black going deeper and deeper and deeper down into the soil. Now, if you follow that and you really track it, you see roots just driving down deeper and deeper and deeper into essentially this compacted hard face and that is the power that we're talking about. When you can see roots drive down and you can see the movement of material that's getting down into deeper and deeper depths here, and in some cases, uh, we've got traces of material going down three feet into the soil where the roots have allowed material to travel and it's changing the soil structure and it's allowing for more fertility down deeper. This is what happens in your lawn as well. Roots start to drive. This pathway and these materials that are opening things up and allowing for greater water flow and allowing for greater nutrient flow are just driving down and moving through your soil profile. And this is what is ultimately leading to that healthier and denser, thicker turf that doesn't require as much maintenance, which in all honesty, that's what we're going for. Less maintenance, more tolerance to any crazy environmental changes, better use of the fertilizer, better use of the water. That's really the action that we're taking. So that's really all I wanted to share today. I wanted you to see these images. I wanted you to take a look. I wanted you to see with your own eyes in an area where it's so apparent what's happening. This is just a great opportunity for you to get an idea of how things are moving and transitioning in your soil and the ultimate benefit that you're going to get over time with all of the movement of air, water, nutrients, roots, softening up that ground. Here it is. That's it. Hope you guys liked it. I'll talk to you guys real soon. See ya.